this point we're going to be checking the hub run out on this we did put a new wheel bearing assembly in this but if this was of an older vehicle or so on and we had some wheel shimmies we're going to check this surface right here then to see if there's any lateral movement on that with the dial indicators most of them do not have the ability to drop down on this length of stud here we're looking at about a two inch stud on this one so I had to go with what we call a toggle on this dial indicator to begin with with the dial indicator you always want to attach to a very firm place this is the bracket that holds the brake assembly this is connected to the hub which is to the bearing so they are all of the same unit don't attach this over onto a lower control arm where you got ball joints in between or so on like that here I'm using a C-clamp instead of a and, uh, magnet. I just had the facilities to do that in this condition. So we came up with a rod off of that, went into a cross or a connector, and so on there. But the way this came out with that toggle, I ended up happening to have the dial facing the opposite way, the way that it read. So again, we come up off of our base, we go into a toggle there then, then we came around to another toggle, and we got it attached to our dial indicator in there. Let's see if we can get this dial in focus in here to where you can see a number. I see this rod's right in the way right there. You are underneath the vehicle, way under the vehicle. Here we are, and we can see that we are actually close to zero if I bring him in that's pretty darn close I can even get a little zoom in to really show us what we have and to show how this toggle even operates how well it does I've got a three thousandths of an inch feeler gauge <coughs> what happens if I put it between the toggle and the rotor itself you can see the actual gain of about three thousandths on that so it is accurate in what it reads within that at this point then all I'm going to do, and we'll zoom out so I can show you what I'm going to do, is I'm going to rotate the hub by grabbing my CV joint here on the inside. And then we're going, as we rotate, we're going to watch the dial indicator and see if we have any wavering back and forth. And there is none at all. And that's very good because it is of a new wheel uh, hub assembly. This flange mounts the rotor and keeps the rotor from wobbling and then the wheel sets against the rotor so any unsquareness here any lateral movement on this is going to affect your rotor and affect your tire so that's how we do our rotor run out and one more peek at what I mean by the toggle on this most dial indicators don't have this mine did have that option on it and then again instead of coming out of the base of it I was able to push this extension on it and then this extension goes back and forth which moves my dial indicator and that gives me the ability to clear the studs within that den.